Hi, I'm Roy from Roy's Garage. Today I'm going to be working on a 2012 Toyota Highlander 3.5 liter automatic. This has a dual uh, fan assembly. One side is working, the other side is not working. So we're going to, I'm going to show you how to replace the fan assembly. These are the tools I'm going to be using today to do this job. A plier, small tip screwdriver, door panel remover, cutter pin puller, quarter inch ratchet, quarter inch extension, another quarter inch extension, 10 millimeter wrench, 10 millimeter socket, 7 millimeter socket, a battery carrier, battery terminal cleaner, dielectric grease, anti-seize, 12 volt jumper pack, and my jumper wire that connects from my jumper pack to the OBD2 connector. So I'm going to be removing this plastic shield. There's a bunch of plastic retainers that I need to remove before removing this plastic shield. One of these are broken because it's plastic. I'm going to be removing this air intake. I'm going to be removing this air intake but this air intake is actually mounted underneath the battery so what I need to do is remove the battery but first before I remove it I'm going to be hooking up my 12 volt jumper pack to the OBD2 connector to save the memory. I'm going to be using this 12 volt jumper pack. I'm going to co connect my adapter right in here. And I'm going to be connecting this adapter to the OBD2 connector right under here. So that's going to be powering the vehicle with 12 volts while I disconnect the battery. So I'm going to be removing the battery. Remove the battery tray and I gotta remove this bolt that secures the air intake. So we need to remove these two brackets.
disconnecting the overflow tube disconnecting the upper radiator hose Unscrewing this bolt and this bolt, removing the coolant reservoir. Disconnecting these electrical wires. You're going to push this tab and pull. So we're going to be moving three bolts, one here, one here, and one here. For the fan assembly. So what I just did was I just used a piece of tie wire to just pull this hose away while I'm removing the fan assembly. So now just pull it out. So I'm going to be transferring this module to the new fan assembly. So I need to take off these two wires and these two bolts. So with these wires, there's a little tab. You just got to push it and pull it out.
I'm gonna be replacing this fan assembly, adding in some pre-mix antifreeze and a new radiator cap. I'm gonna be installing this module on the new assembly. Put a little bit of anti-seize on the screw so the next time it's going to be easier to come apart. Put some dielectric in my electrical connectors. We're going to be installing the new fan assembly. Okay, so bolt up your fan assembly to the radiator with the three bolts. So we're going to be mounting the electrical wire. We're going to be putting some dielectric into this electrical connector. Connecting it into the module. Then we'll be mounting all the the wires. So now we're putting on the air intake. Now we're going to be boning it down. We're installing the battery tray.
Stalin's are J-bolts. Cleaning the battery terminals before I put it on. Now I can disconnect my jumper pack and this jumper wire. So I took this grommet. This is for the coolant reservoir. Goes right in here. I took it off the old fan assembly. I'm going to be putting on the new fan assembly. Now we're going to be putting on the reservoir. Putting some anti-seize on my bolts. the overflow tube on to the radiator lubricating this bolt with any C's Connecting my radiator hose. Connecting my air intake. Clipping these wire mounts, mounts on. Okay. Holding these guys up.
So we're going to be filling up the radiator and the coolant reservoir with antifreeze. So I'm going to start up the vehicle. Make sure your AC is on. Now we're going to be checking the fans to make sure both of them working. Okay, so right now the both fans are working. So now the engine is off. Installing this plastic cover, putting on your retainers. So that's how you replace a radiator fan assembly. If this is the first time watching my video, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I see you in the next video. Aloha.